Now, keeping on this theme that I've mentioned several times so far about the speed of acrylic paint drying, it's not a sensible decision to try and lay the palette out with the paints straight on a piece of plastic or wood as you would with watercolours or even as if you would with oil colours. So what you find if you go in the art shops are a variety of fairly fancy and, and frankly fairly expensive devices and uh, palettes that the manufacturers have come up with which very typically is a vacuum formed plastic tray with what they describe as some special reservoir paper and some equally supposedly special uh, membrane that you put the paints on to keep everything nice and moist and keep the paints open for as long as you're painting. Now as I said they can be quite expensive and so what we're going to look at here is a very low cost in fact depending on what stuff you've got knocking around the house virtually a no cost alternative and it's dead easy to produce. What I've got here is I was going to say a white plastic tray but you can see it's fairly old and battered a little bit like myself um, and it's seen a lot of use as an acrylic palette and all we're going to do is to add in some kitchen paper and use some greaseproof paper or baking paper if you, if you like as the membrane. So in good old television fashion Here's some I've prepared earlier. We've got a glass of water. We've got our plastic paint tray. It could be an old plate. It doesn't have to be a plastic paint tray. And it doesn't have to be this size. It can be any size that you happen to have. And we've got two layers of kitchen towel which are folded over to fit like that. I'm going to put some plain commoner garden water in. Not too much, you don't want it flooded, but just sufficient that it actually is soaked up by the kitchen towel like that. I'm just running that down so it's thoroughly soaked and then finally we have our greaseproof paper just sit in it like that. Once the paper, the greaseproof paper goes in then you'll find that it sticks pretty readily to the wet paper towel. All that you then need to do is to Pop in your paints around the edge and then use the rest of the tray for mixing. And there, in probably not much more than a minute, is a very simple way to save yourself a fair amount of money and get yourself a nice acrylic palette. Once you've finished painting, by the way, if you, you go in for tea or you, you want to leave the paints and you want to come back to them in a few hours time then if you put a piece of cling film across the top of the palette and providing that's still damp underneath and if, if it's not you can always add a little bit of water to it then a little bit of cling film across the top and it'll keep your paints moist for several days if need be. So there we are the homemade acrylic palette. Right, we've got everything we need now to get started on painting. And I hope some of those tips prove useful, especially the ones about mixing greens and greys because they're so important in landscape painting. Now the next thing we're going to move on to is skies. And skies more than anything determine the atmosphere that you create in a picture. So when you're ready, put me in the DVD player, press play and I'll be waiting for you and I'll take you on a trip through the skies and all the magical moods.